Hey guys, we're back in the speed shed today and we're gonna finish off where we left off um, with the cage. I got the tubing and I caught a couple other little things that we gotta do before we can get started. So I'll show you what I got. Okay, if you notice my car is tucked over here in the corner of the shop. So before we can do any work on it, I can't get that other door open or anything. We're gonna have to slide it out through the middle of the shop here which my shop isn't super big, I keep it over here so I can pull my truck in. And what I've been using before is just a floor jack and jacking it up front and back and just sliding it on the jack and it really sucks because it falls off after time, it's heavy. So I went to my favorite store here, Harbor Freight, and got some vehicle dollies. So I'll put these together and show you what they're, if they work worth the crap, they should be pretty good. That way I can just easily slide the car around on the floor here. My shop floor is relatively smooth concrete, so that's good, but it's not perfectly level. There is a drain in here. So I'll let you know how these things work. Hopefully they gotta work better than a floor jack. So uh, the next thing is I'll have them together. And just like that, there they are all together. Two seconds for you, about 10 minutes for me. Let's we'll see how she rolls. Okay guys, first what we're going to do is we're going to weld, uh, before we do the gussets, we're going to get in here with the MIG and finish up these little seam up there. Now looking at it, um, I could get it probably without taking these windows out, but I'm going to be looking straight at the gun. So it's going to be a blind weld, which anybody who's done that knows they usually don't turn out very good. So I actually think if I take these little quarter glasses out, I'll be able to see right into it. So I think that's what we're going to do. What's nice is I've had these quarter glasses out. These are actually off of a buddy of mine's car. This is anybody who knows about Fox Bodies. These moldings always get rotted out and he had a really nice set. So mine aren't glued in anymore. It's just a couple little eight millimeter, 10 millimeter nuts. So I'll pop them off and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we got the quarter glass out and it was definitely the right choice to do. If you look here, see that big old gap? But there's no well right through here. It's a big no-no. Um, how do you avoid that if you're putting a cage in is what you do is you can do it a couple of ways is you don't want to weld your main hoop in solid at first what you either want to do is cut a set of holes in the floor or the hole saw that way you can move your top your main hoop up and down so you can get all your welds around or you just tack it in with the halo with the halo in tack everything up and then lay it forward so then you can go back and weld this joint. That's how you would do it ideally. So, but if you make, if you solid weld in the main hoop, you know, they got it nice, they got it pretty tight, which you want your roll cage to be tight to your body lines. That's what makes it safe. But when you do that, you don't give you room to weld around all your joints. So that's how you do that. You either cut a hole in the floor so you can drop your hoop up and down or just kind of tack the main hoop and the halo, break the tacks when you got everything how you think it's going to set good, come back, weld these, and then raise the main hoop and halo up and then 
finish out the rest of your bars. So I'm gonna roll the MIG out and uh, we're gonna finish up these welds, so. Okay, we turned out pretty good. We got, if you can see up in there, I got it all the way around. I'm in back right here, but I got it all the way around. Looks pretty good. It's perfectly good burned in now. Um, some of you guys might be thinking, man, you got a, you know, a really fast car. These are chicken shit welds on here. They're really not. I've been around many cages. I'm, I have a background in welding. I've welded for many years. Uh, ideally, yes, I would have a molly cage that I would TIG weld in here. I did a very nice cage on a Turbo Gary's car. If you want to check him out on YouTube, one of my buddies got a real badass big turbo uh, 04 Cobra. Uh, but these welds, they're not show welds, no, but they are perfectly burned in. There's no gaps. There's no chicken shit. They're just, they're perfectly adequate for MIG welding. Um, mild steel cage, this cage will 850 cert, no problems, I guarantee it. So, okay, we're gonna go to the next side now. Okay guys, that other side didn't turn out as good as this side, it was a lot tighter. Uh, I did get it, it's not super pretty, I, but it should do the job. But that's why we're doing gussets, just to make them that much stronger. And I got some uh, one inch DOM here. It's like, 0.120 wall should be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna get some gussets cut up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, I thought I'd uh, showcase this tool. It's really sweet for you little DIY guys that don't have a lot of space. It's a porta band, portable band saw. And this little table is uh, by a company called Swag Off-Road. And they make uh, off-road parts and little cool little uh, fabricated little stuff like this. That makes using a portable bandsaw into a stand-up bandsaw. So that's what I'm going to use to cut this this tubing. I'm just going to cut it on 8-inch sections for now to get it smaller because it came in a 4-foot uh, tube. And I'll show you how this thing works. It cut, It works pretty nice. get the idea there it normally cuts way nicer but uh, I let somebody borrow this and uh, it was scooting around on me so I just need to put some screws in the table so it doesn't move on me so but you get the idea it's a nice little unit for uh, a cheap and uh, compact all right guys it's been a long freaking day uh, I ran out of MIG wire typical anytime you try and start a project You'll run out of wire or gas or whatever, but I got the uh, the gussets all in. They look pretty good. Um, painted the cage where I cleaned it up to weld it, but it looks but it looks pretty good. Um, it's just uh. A lot more peace of mind. I feel a lot more confident about that. Looks pretty good. Triangulated now. And I didn't do the fronts. I have the bars cut for them. But I, it looked like it was going to be really hard to do. 
with the windshield in and I plan on removing this windshield because it's pretty hazy it's 28 years old I'm gonna put optic armor in the front of it so when I do that I'll just quick weld the gussets in I already have them cut for it but the main concern was this back hoop and now that that's fixed shouldn't have any problems so yeah it turned out pretty nice um, and uh, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one like and subscribe thanks